What's happening guys? We are back for another Quick Tip Tuesday. So today I'm gonna just share a little problem that I ran into on a recent video that I was making. It's on a video about some LED panel lights. Using them back here, you wanna check out the video, it's linked up here, but it's GBM lights. And I was working with a lav mic, right? And recording my video, and for some reason, I was getting some kind of interference where I was just losing signal between my lav mic and the receiver on my camera. So I ended up getting spots where I had no audio. It kind of sounded like this. But let's take a look at what this kit, but let's take a look at what. So I had already recorded the whole video. I didn't want to remake the video. So I thought, what, what can I do to fix this? So when I'm filming a video like this, generally I'm working with a multicam setup and I try to record audio on everything so I can sync it up. Now, usually I'll use like some kind of small microphone on top of this camera, you know, in addition to my boom mic, which is up here or my lav mic, just so I can sync everything up in a multicam clip. So in this case, I was going through and making my edit. I had to figure out, well, how can I replace the missing audio? What can we do there? And that's where today's video comes in. How do we blend together audio from different sources, right? Ideally, all our audio would come from the same source. It's gonna sound the same, we'd have no problems, but we do run into problems sometimes and we need to fix that. So let's jump into Resolve and we're gonna talk about this and how I blended together audio from my camera, which was not very good, along with the audio from the lav mic. Let's check this out. All right, I'm gonna grab my headphones here because it's always easier to hear with headphones. So in Resolve here, I've got uh, just a few uh, clips from the video and let's just jump right to the problem areas here. So I'm gonna play through this little section and like you heard before, you're gonna hear it, the audio just cut out, right? So listen in. Whether you're into doing videos, so you can hear it, it just cuts out. And I don't know why this was happening. Um, it was a pain because it happened pretty often. So since I had a multicam clip, I had audio from my camera here, which was not great because I didn't actually even put a microphone on. It was just straight out of the camera audio, which everybody knows is terrible. I had that audio. So I was like, let me try and use it. Let's see what we can do. So what I did was I came in and looked at my waveforms here and figured out exactly where does that audio stop? And I made a cut because this is a multicam clip. So all I'm gonna do is change the angle of my audio. And if you need to know more about multicam clips, I got a video up here, you can go check that out. Multicam crash course, that might help you out. Let's come in here and I'm gonna make a cut right where the audio dies out. So I'm gonna cut right here and I'm gonna go to the other side right here and make another cut where the audio comes back in. So now I wanna come down here and like I said, since I have a multicam clip, I can change the angles of my video or my audio if I need to. So I'm gonna click on my clip, right click, and I am gonna come to switch multicam angle. So right now it's on the 5D Mark IV here, which was my good audio with my lav mic. And then my 60D had just the audio out of the camera because I actually forgot to put a microphone on there. So I want to change it to that audio because I know it, the camera actually captured that audio. So I'm gonna click on that. And now you can see our waveforms in here. And now let's listen to hear how that sounds. Into doing videos or you're into doing videos. So you can hear it. it don't sound good, right? So the first thing we need to do is match our levels, right? We're just gonna try and get it to sound around the same volume as it goes from one clip to the next clip. So I'm gonna boost these up and you can even look at the waveforms, that's gonna help you. And then boost it a little and then play through and you wanna just listen to hear what sounds like it makes sense. You're into doing videos or you're into doing videos or all right, so that might be okay. Now, here's where the tip really comes in as far as how to blend these guys together. And it took me a minute or two to figure this out, but what I did was I put on a little short crossfade between these two clips right here. So I'm gonna come on up to my effects library right here. And again, I'm in the edit tab here. It's where we've been doing everything so far, in case I forgot to mention that, edit tab. Gonna come down to my audio transitions in my effects library, and I'm gonna grab the crossfade zero dB. Gonna drag that down, I'm gonna drop it on here. Now I want one on both sides of the clip because I don't wanna be able to tell the difference of where it's changing. So I'm gonna grab another one, drop it on the other side. Now I can leave it like this, but if I play through and, and you listen, it's gonna, I don't think it's gonna sound right. So let's listen and see what this sounds like. To doing videos, into doing videos. So it's okay, but what I'd recommend is I would just make these shorter, right? Make them not as long. So you might have to come and zoom in a little bit. And I'm just gonna shorten those crossfades up. Shorten it up, shorten it up. Let's play through again and see how it's sounding. Into doing videos or you're into doing videos. So it's not too bad. It sounds a little bit smoother. It still sounds a little quieter. So I'm going to boost it up a little bit more there. And let's see how that sounds. Whether you're into doing videos or. So it's getting there, right? But the next thing that, uh, that I might want to do is um, I might even want to work with the EQ just a little bit, just a little bit. So what I can do is I'm going to click on the clip 
I'm going to come on up to my inspector, and the EQ is just going to help us match the sound a little bit, right? Because this one sounds like it's got more high end to it, to me, a little more like tinny, because microphones on cameras, they just stink, right? If you don't use a, an external mic, it just stinks. The audio stinks. So we're going to try and use the EQ to fix that up a little. So I'm just going to select my clip, come into my EQ. I'm going to turn this on, and I'm just going to grab band four here. And I don't know, drag down the top a little bit. Let's see if that helps at all. You're into doing videos or you're into doing videos. So whether you're into doing videos. So it still doesn't sound great. The next thing I might try, uh, since I took off a little top end, is take off a little where I know the vocals live, right? So, which is right in this range, uh, right about in here in that one to two K range. You wanna drop down the frequencies a little bit. And if you wanna know more about uh, EQ and how to work with it, tune into ResolveCon on this Friday. It's a live streamed event put on by Casey Ferris. Uh, super thankful to be part of that. And I'm gonna be having a whole session for uh, an hour long on the EQ, how to use it and how it can make your clips really sound awesome. And if you only had one tool to use, I would recommend using the EQ and starting there. So anyway, back to this here. So let's drop this down a little bit. I don't know, let's see, 1.4. Let's try that and just see if that helps at all. You're into doing videos or you're, so whether you're into doing video. So it's helping a little bit. I might, uh, maybe I want to blend them together a little bit more. Or uh, you can even, you know, change the spot of where the new audio or the different audio comes in. So let's just see if that helps a little here. Whether you're into doing videos or you're boost a little. Whether you're into doing videos or so you can see as I boost it a little, now it's starting to sound like it blends together a little bit more, right? Whether you're into doing videos or so it's not going to be perfect, right? But I think you can make it good enough where nobody's going to notice the difference when you're just watching and cruising through. So that's kind of how I would start to play with it. A little bit of EQ work, crossfades, and then just adjusting your volume so things kind of match as it goes from one clip to the replaced clip to the next clip. So let's check out one more example here. Uh, later on, it happened again. It actually happened quite a bit uh, during this, this filming, and I don't know why, because I've tested it since with the same microphone, the same lab setup, the same, you know, signals and everything and I didn't have any problems, so I don't know what's going on with that. But here's another example of where the same thing happened again. But let's take a look at what this kit, but let's take a look at what, and it just cuts right out. I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna go to where my audio cuts out, I'm gonna make a cut, I'm gonna go to the other side, where the audio comes back in, make another cut. And again, this is only gonna work if you have, you know, more than one audio source. Obviously, if you only had one lav mic, kinda, you're, you're out of luck, there's nothing you can do. But I'm going to come in here now, change this. I'm going to right click on it. And since it's a multi-cam clip, come and change my audio angle to be my 60D. And let's play through, just see what that sounds like off the bat here. Let's take a look at what this, let's take a look at what. So it's not sounding so good. So this time let's just grab our cross phase. I'm going to throw those guys on there, shorten it up a little bit. Grab another one, throw it on, shorten it up. Let's play through, see what this is sounding like. But let's take a look at what this. Okay, so obviously we need to boost that up. Let's take a look at what maybe a little bit more. Let's take a look at what this let's take a look at what All right. Uh, a little bit more. Let's take a look at what this So not too bad. And then uh you know maybe I want to put some EQ on here too, you know. I'm going to come in and obviously when I'm working on my final video here, right now I have no effects, no EQ, no multiband compressor, nothing on any of these tracks. It's just the you know the raw audio here. In my final product, I would put some of those uh, effects and compressors and all that on there. So that's going to help even things out a little bit more too. You'll have the same effects applied across everything. But for now, for simplicity's sake, we're just going to work with the EQ here in the uh, inspector. So let's go ahead and turn on band four. This time I'm going to leave it where it's at, 10K. I'm going to grab band three. Uh, drop it down around 1.5k here and let's see how that sounds but let's take a look at what this kit but let's take a look at what this so you can hear that it does get a little more echoey and that's because it's just the microphone on the camera right there's nothing we can do about that it's got a little echo i mean you could try a little noise reduction but with the amount of times i had to do this it didn't make sense to go through and go crazy with it you know there, there were such short clips that i think most of the time nobody noticed and it worked out fine to do it this way so what do you guys think? Was this a good tip? Is this something that you would use? Now keep in mind, you do need at least two audio recordings, right? So you can try and match them up. But there's gonna be times, you know, where you don't have that and you're kinda out of luck, I hate to say it. But if you've got the two recordings, you can blend them together 
and at least get something that works good enough where probably the majority of people aren't going to notice, especially when it's a fast little clip like this. So that's it for this Quick Tip Tuesday, guys. Again, ResolveCon this Friday. Check it out. I'm going to be there. You're going to have a ton of other great DaVinci Resolve creators there. Really excited and looking forward to working with all them and uh, sharing our knowledge with you guys. So head on over to Casey's page. I'll leave a link in the description below. You can go check that out if you're interested. And I look forward to seeing you guys there, hopefully. And if not, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.